School. 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 Um, there is what I call the curse of Granada, which is students are expected to perform very highly. They put a lot of pressure on themselves, their parents put pressure on them, and the school climate puts pressure on them. So I think that um, the school pressure is a very, very important contributor to student stress. School expectations um, have definitely affected my mental state a lot. I was diagnosed with clinical anxiety last year caused by um, school, I would, I would say mostly, and its expectations of me and my own personal strive to succeed in school and in life. It wasn't the applying to college that was really the stressful part. It was mostly all of the things I had to do leading up to it to prove to colleagues that I was a worthy candidate. I think almost everyone I see, and I see about 400 plus minus 400 students a year, um, have st school stress on some level. But they are either stressed because they are not performing highly enough or because they are failing. A lot of it has to do with school. to cope with the apparent suicide of an undergraduate. Suicide has become such a huge problem in our state, especially among teens. A tragic trend. A third student at Clovis West High School has committed suicide. It's the third student who has taken their life since the start of the school year. It concerns me because a lot of young people who are stressed also, it goes to the place where they have anxiety disorders or, or major depression and some kids become suicidal because of the pressure that they are under and to me that is, shouldn't be a function of adolescence. I think it would be really helpful to decrease stress in school if we had less homework to manage extracurricular activities. Also in school, if we didn't have to do a bunch of certain requirements. Like